city Dublin, the town I love so dear. But we're after winning two million quid, so we're off to Belvedere. Yes, it's goodbye to good old Arthur J. And it's bold you're to find you bleed. I am leaving my heart at the Haveney Bridge. Now it's Belvedere for me. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony. Wakey, wakey, <laughs> tell me when we need you. Uh, uh, what is it, darling? Oh, Anthony, don't go to sleep just yet. Oh, I'm sorry, darling, I just can't keep my eyes open. Well, we can do this with them closed. It won't take long, I promise. Oh, you always say that, Pamela. Oh, Anthony. Anthony, I just want to spend a few minutes exploring your attachments. <laughs> My what? Unless, of course, you've got something to hide. Certainly not. Good. Well, paint me a picture, Anthony, please. Of my attachments. <laughs> yeah, it won't take long. Well, I don't know where to start. <laughs> well, are they weak, strong, secure, insecure? Family attached. <laughs> well, I'd say strong and secure. Now, roll back the clock and talk about the attachments that played a part in your early childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Attachments I've got you now. Well, actually, there was a Hoover. Yes, this had a lot of attachments. There was one long, thin one, you know. It was went into crevices, and it made a terrible sound. It always frightened the dog. Well, and I can't <laughs> wait to tell my tutor. My class will be fascinated. My husband is emotionally bonded to a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Darling, what has all this got to do with pottery? Nothing. What's this? What's, oh, psychology. <laughs> But I thought you were taking pottery classes. No, no, Anthony. You see, they just sit around throwing pots. And um, besides, you can't wear rubber gloves in, in pottery, and mud and manicures don't mix. No, no, no. It's clay, darling. <laughs> yeah. Well, Toby's been very supportive. Yes, I'm at a guess. <laughs> you see, for my first assignment, I have to find um, people who cross the social divide, you know, social misfits. Oh, the O'Driscoll spring to mind. <laughs> Anthony, my tutor said that the real work is done out there in the field. Oh, I don't see you in green wellies, Pamela. I must ask the probing questions, observe behaviour, seek and confront aggression. Darling, don't you think pottery would be much safer? Anthony, where would we be now if Sigmund Freud had sat around making teapots? Well, we'd be drinking lots of coffee. <laughs> Heads. Right, best out of three. No way. It's ginger spice. How do you know? Experience. You ate till you're my age. <laughs> Swap us. For what? My autograph collection. The only real one in it's Uncle Willie. The rest you wrote in yourself. How do you know? You put two ends in Bono for a start. <laughs> yeah. Now I wondered about that. That's all right. Gang up on me. Or... Hey. What's going on with them? Uh, they got ginger spice in the cornflakes. There's a row brewing up there. I uh, don't really keep them occupied. Yeah. Them minding him. He should be here by now. Oh, we'll arrive. You can always count on Willie. Oh, yeah. To be late. Look, I'm leaving Tara around at the boutique. Dolores is keeping an eye on her. Now, you be ready when I get back, OK? You got a list? You noticed? It's this bag. It makes me lean to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, stick down the spice scales, will you? Super group. Super glue. No, the bleeding video. <laughs> sure, Santi might bring it in your stocking. It's not for me, for the lads. What's all the interest in the music? Who for that about music? Driscoll. Come in, Toby. Ooh, very psychological, Pam. Yeah, I'm very psychedelic, Toby. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, a Colombian mountain blend, if I'm not mistaken. I can smell the altitude. Psychologists don't smell, Toby. They respond to stimulation. Ooh, well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Stop, Toby. I don't have time to be silly. Oh, sorry. I was only trying to help. I'm sorry, Toby, but it's just that this is my first assignment. 
And you want a gold star from teaching. Mm, yeah, but I can't seem to find the perfect subject. Well, why don't you scrutinize my sensitivities, Pam? <laughs> <laughs> Strip an award-winning architect of his emotional inhibitions. <laughs> Some other time, Toby. Now, this assignment is about, you know, crossing the social divide. I need to rub shoulders with the ordinary people. Oh, ordinary. Oh, well, let's me out. It's just... It's just I don't know any. Now, now, Pamela. Who? Right here on your own doorstep. Oh, I hope you're not suggesting that Anthony is... Oh, the Kyo's absolutely perfect. Ordinary with a capital O, Pam. <laughs> Living right here in Belvedere Downs. Like a family of fleas on a Persian cat. <laughs> Toby, Toby, that is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Well, better late than never. I'm sorry, Eddie. The traffic was bleeding brutal. <laughs> I know you're in there. What the hell are you playing at? Shh. It says collect our five and there's five missing. <laughs> Merciful God, he's getting more like you every day. Oh, thanks, Eddie. How are you, Willie? Eddie, it's Tommy weren't here. What in the name of God? Molly, say nothing. Just be thankful he hasn't poured out all the milk on them. <laughs> That's not but a scam. Hang on a sec, where are you going? Out to play. Put them back where you got them. Yeah, one at a time. Yeah. I'm going to take off, Dave. Save your right, keep you out of mischief. Yeah, I'll we'll give you a hand. Ray, we'll have it done in twice the time. <laughs> All right, I'll race you then. Hello, God, it's Pamela Moriarty. If we don't go to town, the shops will be shut. Hello. Pam, I care. This must be an official visit. <laughs> if you're selling insurance, we've enough to last us a lifetime. Hello, Eddie. Hello, Molly. Yes, Pam. Molly, Eddie. As parents with a vested interest in the psychological well-being of your children, I was wondering if I could, at a time, of course, that it's convenient to you, and with your permission... It's definitely insurance. Take a breath, Pam. You're making me dizzy. <laughs> yes, well, basically, I just wanted to ask for a little favour. Two little favours, in fact. <laughs> Did you ask the question, or are we supposed to guess? Sorry, Molly. No, I was just wondering if I could interview the twins. Interview? What have you been up to? Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no nothing wrong. No, it's just a couple of simple questions from my night class assignment. Oh, we don't need to be here? No, not necessarily. Great. Come on, Eddie. We're out of here. <laughs> Willie, will you make sure the twins help Pamela with her homework? <laughs> Is this spelling? No, Willie. Good, I'm no good at spelling. The teacher used to change the word every week. I think she's done it on purpose. Right. Isn't it a pity you don't have something more stimulating to play with than a box of cornflakes? Yeah, I know. Yeah, sugar poofs are better. <laughs> you can play blow football with them. All you need is a straw. And a lot of wind. Here, you have to help Mrs. Moriarty with her homework. Just a couple of questions. It won't take long. Uh, quiz? No, be good fun, lads. What sort of questions? Oh, well, actually, they're psycho... Psycho-metric. <laughs> yes. If you don't get it right, do we get it going? Yes, well, yeah. And do we get a bonus look on the television if I get it right? Yes, Willie. Now, let's start with a couple of simple questions about your early childhood. <laughs> I can't remember it. Sure, we were only babies. I do. The two years were holy terrors. <laughs> Come on, we're not needed. Uncle Willie can fill you in. Well, hold on. Just a second. I need your ages for my questionnaire. Put me down for an 11. And I'm 10. <laughs> you know twins run in their family? Most unusual. He thought I was a pair. <laughs> Fascinating. He didn't give me mad y'all clear for a month after he was born. As the world held its breath, Willie. You think doctors would know? I weighed ten pound twelve ounces. Good God. Yeah, my man was thrilled to find out there was only one of me. <laughs> Imagine two Willie cows running around. <laughs> it's unthinkable, Willie. Could we concentrate, please? Oh yeah. Fred. Right. Now, when the twins were little, did they play with Action Man or Barbie? Action Man or Barbie? Yes, Willie. I'd say no. 
<laughs> no. Now, we played with each other. See, no wonder, no toys, no stimulation. Oh, yeah, the belt. Of course, they had toys. They had a teddy bear, a rubber hammer. A teddy and a hammer. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Spoiled rotten. No. <laughs> a basic need to nurture, and hammer, a uh, hammer is to create and construct. Yeah. Eddie took the hammer off them. Why? Well, they were beating the living daylights out of each other. <laughs> Leaving them only Teddy to cling to? Not for long. He took away Teddy as well? In bits. <laughs> Stuff and pulled over. He, he tore apart Teddy? Oh, they did. Fighting over him. <laughs> so, um, how did they react to the loss? Screamed the bleeding house down. Frustration. Yeah, they blamed themselves. Frustration leading to aggression. Willie, tell me, do the twins have a close relationship with the baby? Of course they do. She's our bleeding sister. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Mick. So you lost Molly in the crowds? Yeah, we're talking Bermuda Triangle. In one minute, she was standing by my side, and the next minute, she'd vanish clean off the radar. Hi, hi, hi. Will you hang on there, James, and get them whatever you want? Right, Molly, Professor, what are we having? I love Picardy and Coke. Thanks, Mick. Oh, do you know, I think I could do with a pint. Didn't expect to see you, aren't I? I rescued him in BTs. Oh, from a fate worse than death. You wouldn't believe it, Eddie. I looked down the escalator, and there was Anthony Moriarty. Trapped in ladies' underwear. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and you knew him. No. No, it was a dreadful crush. So what do you expect, Anto? You're the wrong shade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you think you know. No, 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 no. I was hoping to give Pamela a surprise, you know. By oh. getting yourself arrested. <laughs> <laughs> My lady wife, Mrs. McEssingham, is a great one for giving people surprises. Is that a fact, Mick? Yeah? Right up to the bleeding day, she disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> What's in the bag? Oh, we... it's, um, it's a negligee. <laughs> we chose it for Pamela. Yes, I hope it fits. Well, if it doesn't, she can change it herself. I don't want to see the inside of a shop between now and Christmas. Yeah. Do you know, I heard that there's some people addicted to shopping. Shopaholics. I want to get their bleeding heads examined. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we should turn Pamela loose on them. How's that? Oh, you haven't heard, have you? She's actually taking a course in psychology. Oh, that's brilliant, mm. Anto. You'd be living with your very own fully qualified fortune teller. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's astrology, Bernie. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, well, uh, she's actually trying to find out what makes people tick. Why? How tick do people need to be? <laughs> <laughs> One question, Molly Kill. As my lady wife, Mrs. McGettigan, used to say, doesn't matter how thick you are, as long as you have a thick wallet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> actually, she's actually she's studying human behaviour. Now, typical of a Pamela, going in at the deep end. <laughs> Sink or swim. Yeah, I mean, imagine starting off by interviewing social misfits. <laughs> misfits? Yeah, I mean, where's she going to find them? You'd be surprised. And she could try in here for a start. I said to her, I said, Pamela, you poke into people's private lives at your peril. Right. That's it. I've heard enough. Was it, was it something I said? Could be. I see you've started without me. Oh, couldn't wait any longer. Celebrating your success? Drowning my sorrows. Oh, I see you have a bit of catching up to do. Willie has just taken me on a tour of the Keogh family tree. Oh, so that's where he lives. <laughs> In one ear and out the other. I'm not surprised. It's Molly and Eddie next. Mm. Psyching yourself up for round two? Yeah, just, you know, a bit of family background to chat about childhood experience. Aha. Uh -huh. The building blocks of our unique personality. Absolutely. The reasons for your insecurity and Anthony's baldness. <laughs> <laughs> no, my sensitivity, Pam. <laughs> yes, Toby. And your sensitivity. Oh, is that how you see me? Oh. Insecure. Mm. A man in need of direction, crying out for a firm hand. You're a very perceptive person, Pamela. <laughs> you, um, you never talk much.
much about your childhood, Toby? Oh, it was all very ordinary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let me be the judge of that. Hmm? Well, Daddy was away on business a lot, and Mummy and I became very close. We were, we were like sisters. <laughs> Go on. After she overcame her disappointment. <laughs> disappointment. Yes, she was hoping for a girl. Um, and um, along came Toby. Well, the fact that I was a boy didn't affect her feelings towards me. No? Good for her. She called me Trudy. <laughs> Trudy. And made me wear frocks. <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling you all this. <laughs> no, it's OK, Trudy. Toby, your um, secrets are safe with me. <laughs> There was an awful row when Daddy found out. Oh, but... Oh, he was livid. He made Mummy cancel my ballet lessons <laughs> and sent me to mini rugby. Oh. How awful for you. Daddy made me burn my tutu, Pam. <laughs> really? That's traumatic, Toby. I still can't watch it on television without my comfort blanket. Yes, well, <laughs> you know, rugby is not a sport for sensitive people. No, no, the ballet, Pam. <laughs> Will you get back to another cup of tea there? I know, thanks. Oh, way, do you do it? I can't get used to that bleeding yoke. Yeah, right, it's got mine of its own. Yeah, no sense of direction. <laughs> I'll tell you, Willie, really, watch the expert. Oh, oh. See, you have to make an allowance for a uh, leakage at the lid. Now, if I aim for the sugar bowl, I'll chuck it into the cup. Wait. <laughs> Drum roll. Yeah, mess up. Ah, it's back to the drawing board. That's for recycling, Eddie. Oh, but it's stainless steel. Stainless? Will you look at the table? Yeah, it's a designer teapot, Molly. It's a Waltham can in disguise, Willie. <laughs> Why didn't you bring it back to the shop and get a refund? I can't remember where we got it. Uh, we got it as a present from close friends last Christmas. Oh. <clears throat> friends bleeding scrap merchants. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, from Pamela and myself, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Anto. Sorry, Eddie. Uh, just slipped out. Oh, don't worry about it, Willie. <laughs> well, it's all your wife's fault. Anyway, she has me head punctured. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> Who could that be? Hello, sorry to disturb you. He's mind. in here, Pam. Oh. Actually, I didn't realise you were here. Oh, yes, well, we met in town, you know, we thought we'd share a taxi. Oh, I see. Right. Well, I just wanted a little chat, actually, with Eddie and Molly. Oh, right. Well, listen, I I'll see you later. Let's see you. Bye. See you, Anto. Bye. See you, Anto. Two visits in one day, Pam. We're honoured. Yes, well, I just wanted a little tete-a-tete. -tete. I bet you did. You know, just a little bit of family background for my assignment. I thought you did all that. We told her everything, Eddie. Jesus. Um, Willie was most helpful. It's coming together really well. So we're filling in the blanks. Exactly. So what do you want to know? Well, actually, it's about the twins. Are they MZ or DZ? What? I think she's talking about motorcycles, Eddie. <laughs> sorry, Eddie, sorry. My little abbreviation. Are they monozygotic or dizygotic? Catholic. <laughs> It means one egg or two. You don't like eggs, Pam. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, you understand, surely. The twins, do they hatch from one egg or two? What, do you think we live in a bleeding farmyard? <laughs> what do you want to know for? Well, it determines, you know, if they share their genes. That pair wouldn't share anything. <laughs> Free-range family. <laughs> I'm sorry, I asked. My kids didn't hatch. They were born. Pamela Moriarty. Right, well, I'm very pleased for you, Molly. And close the gate in your way out. We don't want the animals to escape. Oh, <laughs> uh, good morning, darling. Did you sleep well? No, Anthony, I tried to keep awake. Oh, why was that, darling? Well, because I kept having the most awful nightmares. Oh, no. Yeah, I dreamt that I was locked in a hen house with Willie Q. Oh, no. Yeah, and then Toby joined us and he was dressed in a tutu. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it must have been the mushrooms you had last night for supper. No, well, they didn't affect you. No, 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 I slept like a log. Well, you see, I made a run for it as soon as I heard them squabbling. There was a terrible commotion, and, and I think maybe a fox got them. Well, we live in hope. <laughs> Darling, um, <laughs> one egg or two? But you see, this is it, Anthony. I don't know. Nobody will tell me. What? 
about the eggs? Yes, I mean, I mean, no. Oh, da oh darling, you see, I have a little bit of a fever. Now, listen, I think you should go upstairs, lie down, and I'll bring you some coffee. Yes, but Eddie, yeah. um, yes, no, I no, 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 don't worry. Out. Yes, 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 no, fine, fine, fine. I'll out. find out now. I'll phone the surgery, and I'll make an appointment. Oh, no, no, and I no, need no, to go no, and... I don't need an appointment. You do need an appointment. Now, where is the telephone? Oh, no, the door. Oh, yes, well, here we go. Ah, uh, uh, the doctor, Anto. yes, we need to phone the doctor. Now, where the hell, where, the, where, where the, leave the, um... Anto, you're talking to yourself. What? Oh, my God, it must be catching. Is Pamela here? Only in body. Yeah, that'll do me. I'm very worried about her. And so you should be, Anto. Anto, yeah. your wife thinks we're bonkers. Here, read that. Pamela, you should be lying down. No, no, Anthony, you see, I keep thinking that I hear voices. Oh, she's getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> we returned that form. You left it behind you. Oh, did I? I hadn't realised. I'm sorry. We're in a bit of a hurry. Darling, what is dysfunctional maternal bonding? I didn't use enough glue. <laughs> and a primitive social influence. Oh, that's my Eddie to a T. Good Lord, confused gender. There's nothing wrong with my gender. Mm. No, no, that's Toby. Oh, oh. Toby, oh, I see. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly, Eddie. I think I've, you know, maybe I just took on too much. Yeah, well, it doesn't pay to take on the cures. Yeah. Well, we've said our piece. We have presents to wrap. Yeah, well, listen, I hope we're still friends. Oh, yeah, peace, love and goodwill and all that. Yeah. Tell that to our turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, Eddie, thank you. Oh, Pam. Yes? The answer to your question. Yeah? M Z. M Z. M Z. M-Z? That's a motorbike, isn't it? <laughs> one egg, Anthony. One egg. Ah, that's more like my old Pamela. Now, how do you like it, boiled or poached? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <coughs> hello, darling. Uh, how was your class? Oh, Anthony, you are going to be very proud of me. Would you like some wine? Please. Oh, right. Anthony, I got a dispensation to use rubber gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon. Oh. oh, Anthony, look. Oh, pottery. But I thought you were doing psychology. Y yes, well, no, I thought that my creativity, you know, was better suited to pottery. Oh, right, right, mm. right. Um, may I? Oh, yes, but, yeah. but be very careful, yeah. darling, because it is still quite uh, fragile. Yes, yes, right, right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. <laughs> what is it? Yes. Teapot. It's oh. for Molly and Daddy. Oh, yes. it'll be delightful with yes. that. You know, it's just, it's just what they wanted. You yes. know. And, and if, if you're very lucky, then <laughs> next week I might make you one. <laughs> yeah, can, well, if you want, uh, darling, I don't mean to be fussy, but should, shouldn't it have a spout? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> uh. yes. But you see, the problem is, Andrew, that it keeps falling off. Oh. See, so I was wondering if you could help me to glue it on. Oh well, I'll try. Here we go. Yes. Oh. Um, no, uh, well, it won't stick. I can't, I can't get it. Uh, oh, well, even teapots have trouble with their attachments. <laughs> <laughs> It's goodbye to good old Arthur J And it's bonjour to find Chablis I am leaving my heart at the Hapney Bridge Now it's Belvedere for me Yes, it's goodbye to good old Arthur J And it's bonjour to find Chablis I am leaving my heart at the Hapney Bridge now it's Belvedere for me.